Deciding what goes in a game is, is always a weeding out process. As the story unfolded, the cast of characters changed to match it. It's not so much about villains and heroes, but it is about the characters and their wants and their needs and their reasonings behind it. Their actions start changing the face of the world that Oswald knows. Oswald has his remote control, which gives him the power of electricity in the world. Using your electrical powers to stun enemies or reprogram them, his own way of making enemies friendly. The helicopter ears, the boomerang leg. We had to give him his own unique set of abilities and capture the specifics of things that Walt Disney and Ub Iwerks put on the screen, you know, 80 years ago. Oswald's powers complement Mickey's. For instance, Mickey's got paint and thinner, which allows him to paint and erase in the world. Armed with the magic brush, what would Mickey do? The magic brush, it's not really the magic that causes paint and thinner to work. It's sort of a conduit for Mickey's own sort of internal ability to channel paint and thinner. The character that we're introducing in the game that I'm most happy about is Hortensia. In the first game, we just introduced her as the sort of sad, no longer present in the world character. In Disney Epic Mickey, The Power of Two, she is a full-fledged character. It's nice to have a strong female character in Wasteland uh, who plays a, a really important role in how things play out. It's the Mad Doctor. He makes his reappearance in this game. He is one of our pivotal characters. The Mad Doctor was the first Mickey cartoon I fell in love with when I was a kid, and it, it scared me to death, actually, you know, which, which was great. He's a really interesting character in that he's not necessarily evil and not necessarily good. You don't know who and what he is. We have a whole new class of characters uh, called uh, Blotworks. Which is a fusing of the Beetleworks and the Blotlings together. They're very challenging, but I, I, I love the humor in, in the designs and in the animations for the, for the, the Blotworks. It is up to Mickey and Oswald to go through this adventure and decide how they want these characters to inhabit Wasteland. The beauty of the Wasteland universe is it's kind of a mashup world where things that don't belong together actually end up together. It's a world that every minute of every day grows and changes. <laughs> 